hello friend this is sopnil and welcome to learn sap app so in this session we are going to see how to use a constructor in object oriented programming in sap app okay so what is a constructor uh, so there are three main point which we need to keep in our mind okay so that is the name of the constructor it is a constructor uh, not a class name uh, the uh, constructor is a uh, defined using the method statement the third one is to execute the constructor no need to call method uh, at the time of creating the object the constructor get triggered okay so let's go to the sap system and we will see this part practically okay but wait uh, if you are the first time on my channel then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of my next videos okay so let's start uh, okay friends so i am in my sap system so today we are going to see how to use the constructor in object oriented uh, programming in a bab okay so so before start with the constructor you should know what is a class and object okay because in the constructor we can uh, de uh, declare inside the class okay so but if you have, if you don't know uh, how, what is a class and object so don't worry uh, i have created i have written one uh, separate article on it so you may find the link in the description so go and check it out that thing also so you will get some basic about uh, idea about what is a class and object okay but don't worry in this video also i'll be some brief uh, we will give you some uh, brief idea about what is a class and object okay while implementing the constructor okay so what is a class like uh, how it is defined like uh, so for the theoretical part you may refer my website so we'll tell you some practical thing in this video so how we can define the class can have a two section like class definition and class implementation okay so we'll show you what is so how we can define the class like class uh, let's suppose uh, we'll take the hours uh, this uh, real scenario okay so today we are going to create the class for the uh, class in order to define the constructor okay so we'll give the class as a uh, class we'll give the class one this one cls okay so definition and here we have in class okay so class can have to go uh, okay so this, this is the way we can define the local class okay there are we are we have two, two type of different classes then local class and uh, global class so global class we can define in a ac24 and uh, local class we can define in ac38 uh, at the time of the uh, writing the code for the program so okay it's kind of two sections class definition and class implementation okay so what is the class implementation for the class implementation so we have to write the same thing uh, implementation and here we have to give ten class okay okay so this is the class definition and this implement okay so the class contain the public section private section and protected section okay then do by class definition and class implementation okay so what is the class definition class definition used to declare the component of a class like attributes method and event okay and a class implementation part is used to implement those method or whatever we have defined in the class okay so class can have a different section like public section pro protected section and private section okay okay so what is the mean different between public section protected section and private section okay so, uh, the data declared inside this public section can be accessible by this class and the subclass of this class and the other user outside of this class okay so what is the subclass so like uh, we'll show you in a, some uh, next video uh, next or upcoming videos like this so we'll tell you how we can define let's suppose class cl2 definition inheriting from class okay and end class okay so this class 2 is nothing but the uh, subclass of this uh, subclass of this super class like this class class this is the super class and this is a class because it is a inheriting from this class field okay so so okay so this is the uh, public uh, this is the comes under public section what is a protected section the data declared inside this uh, protected section can be accessible by this class and it's a super class and, uh, for, by this class and it's a subclass but uh, class but uh, but not by the other user outside of the class okay and uh, what is a private section the data declared inside this private section can be accessed by only by this class okay so and also the subclass cannot access the access this uh, uh, access this component whatever declared inside this method okay and even uh, the external user is user can't access the uh, data uh, data uh, the component inside this private section okay 
so let's start so today we are going to see about this was the some basic thing about the class and okay so this uh, so we are going to use the public section for our requirement okay so what we are going to see like we will see the how we can define the constructor okay so this is the class definition and implementation part okay so what is the thing about constructor the in above the the name of the constructor is the constructor not the class name okay but if you have some knowledge about the java then you know that in the java we can use the uh, class name for the construct to define the constructor okay but in this uh, in this cab app like we can use the uh, to implement uh, the name of the uh, constructor is a constructor not the class name okay so let's define the uh, constructor and what is the second prerequisite like uh, the class is defined using the method statement okay so let's uh, so how we can define method public session first we will define some data uh, we will do data lv name type will give string okay this is a public component okay of this class okay and in this public section we will define the constructor okay so meta constructor constructor okay so now we have defined the almost constructor okay and now we have to implement this constructor okay so uh, we will do method constructor will give us a and here will give us a end method okay okay so what is the constructor the name of the constructor is the constructor not the class name the constructor is defined using the method statement okay and we suppose we have to execute this method then we need we don't need to call any need to call any method okay we don't need to call this method at the time of creating the object the constructor will get call automatically okay so we'll show you how uh, let's first implement this method so let's suppose lv name so we'll write lv name is equal to this is a constructor method okay right right lv name okay so we have almost done with our constructor part okay okay so now uh, we are almost done our constructor okay so now we have to just call this constructor okay so how we can call this constructor as i have already told you to call this constructor we don't need to call this method so we need to create an object for this class okay so what is the object object is an instance of this class okay so how we can define let's suppose we write start of selection data object type refer to cl create object and obj okay that's it now we will see the output okay as you can see what we have done we have just defined the so what is the prerequisite for the constructor the name of the constructor is a constructor not the class name okay and constructor is defined using the method statement okay and to execute the constructor no need to call the method this method uh, at the time of creating the object constructor get trigger okay so we'll see the output now let's suppose i just uh, execute this program sorry okay so now as you can see this, this is constructor method okay i didn't call any method okay so we'll show you one more scenario let's suppose we have some method in this okay so we'll do what else we'll define one normal method okay method normal okay now i have to implement this method so we'll method this same class method normal method and method okay and here we will give the same we will use the same thing uh, lb name because we can access this in the same class here we will give as a name as a normal method here we will write as a simple okay okay 
so now as you can see uh, here we have just defined two method like the constructor method and this normal method and we have implemented this in the implementation part of the class and as you can also see our uh, create object over here we have just uh, instantiated object and just created the object okay so now we have to just call this normal method okay so how we can call we just have to take the reference like call method object and and normal sorry okay so now what I have done what is the difference between to call this constructor I didn't created uh, I didn't call this constructor using this method all right using because uh, I have to no call execute any kind of the method we just need to create an object and we just need to call the method okay for the constructor we don't need to call the method so when we will create the object it get triggered okay so let's check the output once again check and activate okay so if I will execute so now as you can see this is a constructor method and this is a normal method okay so as you can see here we have just created the object when we uh, when we call the create the object the constructor get triggered and when we this uh, call this method this normal method is getting triggered okay so this is the way uh, you can uh, use the constructor okay so if you want to read the more detail about the constructor then you may find the link in the description also to get some more knowledge about constructor also okay so i have just uh, written some different article on this constructor also in the same so you may find the same thing in my uh, website also okay so this was the basic thing so in uh, in next video uh, in next video i will show you how to use the constructor with the importing parameter okay so please stay tuned with us bye if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in a comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.dunisipyapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out